Week six of West Branch Bear football, and uh, tonight we find ourselves back here at the uh, friendly confines of Oliphant Street Field, and boy, what a beautiful job uh, the grounds crew has done here on this field. Uh, Tom Peterson, Mike Gady, uh, and uh, they've just done a tremendous job painting the field, uh, goal lines painted, bear paws, WB in the middle of the field, so we'd like to pass our congratulations out to them also. Uh, well, we have a chance. Uh, go over a few uh, statistics here from the past week. Uh, the uh, Tipton paper has put out uh, the stats uh, that they accumulate every week, so we want to uh, give them uh, credit for the uh, stats that we're going to read off. In Class 2A uh, District 6 football, West Branch is uh, a top 3-0 in the district and 5-0 overall. Right behind them, of course, is Williamsburg tied with them at 3-0 and 5-0 and and overall. And uh, as everyone probably knows, Williamsburg is going to be the last game of the season in the district, and uh, that game continues to loom larger and larger. Highland Lone Tree is in third place. That will be the Bears' opponent next week at 2-1 uh, and 3-2 overall. Louisa Muscatines 1-2 in the district, 1-4 overall, followed by Mid Prairie, West Liberty, and Wilton all at 1-2 in the district. And Clear Creek Amanda's 0-3 in the district and 0-5 in the overall record. Last week's scores, West Branch 50, Louisa Muscatine 12, Williamsburg 59, Mid Prairie 6, Highland Lone Tree 38, Clear Creek 6, Wilton 14, and West Liberty 12. Uh, this week's game, uh, games will find Clear Creek Amana at West Branch here at Alpha Street Field, Williamsburg at Louisa Muscatine, West Liberty at Highland Lone Tree, and Wilton at Mid Prairie. Uh, we were going through uh, the rushing statistics, and strangely enough, the Bears have four young men in the top 17 in the rushing department in Class uh, 2A uh, District 6 football. Luke Jeffries is in second place, 42 attempts, 332 yards, and uh, four touchdowns. In 10th place is Jeremy Hollingsworth, 25 attempts, 129 yards, no touchdowns. In 13th place is Pat Gates, 13 attempts, 98 uh, yards. And in uh, 17th place is uh, a young man that we've seen for the first time coming out of the fullback position last week, Jacob Peterson, 12 carries, 71 yards, and three touchdowns in his first night carrying the football. Passing department, we find Aaron Vincent in third place. He has a 55.6 completion percentage, 358 yards, five touchdowns, and uh, overall rating of 198.4. In the receiving department, we have one young man in that uh, top eight category, and at, at number eight is Pat Gates from West Branch, five receptions, 178 yards, a 35.6 average. In the scoring department, uh, in second place is Luke Jeffries, four touchdowns, uh, one extra point, and 26 total points. Uh, Adam Hans in fifth place, he has four TDs and a total of 24 points. Uh, that should really much wrap up uh, most of the stats as far as the district goes. Um, the Bears face a winless Clear Creek here tonight at Oliphant Street Fields. The Clippers are coming off a 38-6 uh, to defeat to Highland Lone Tree. They are led by running back Matt Sheets and fullback Chris Demmel. They're pretty inexperienced, Coach Peterson said. In such games, when they're favored, the Bears have certain goals they like to achieve. You look for ways to improve what you don't do well, Coach Peterson said. The coach also views the game as an opportunity for some who had bad mouth this team in preseason to show some support, like we know all true Bear fans do. This is a chance to come out and say thanks to a group of kids that have overachieved in some people's minds, he said. Uh, there's only one game here tonight. The fresh soft game will be played uh, Monday night at 6.30 here at Alpha Street Field. And uh, Kevin Kaleberg, a junior lineman, was named the Bears green shirt for scout team player of the week last week. Uh, last week, the individual statistics rushing, Luke Jeffries, 10 carries, 89 yards. Jake Peterson, 12 carries, 79 yards. Pat Gates, four carries for 68. John Jacobson, three carries for 21. Andy Swenson, three for 20. Jeremy Hollingsworth, one carry for 15. James Young, one for five. Aaron Vincent, four carries for minus 11. The negative yardage, of course, comes on the quarterback sacks. Uh, so as you can see, there's just been a variety of people carrying a football for West Branch. Vincent was 8 for 13, 190 yards, had a great night throwing the football. Receiving Gates had four catches for, uh, 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 they have four catches for eight yards, but he had a lot more in that. Clay Whirl had two catches for 40 yards. Pat Rios had one catch for 30. Adam Hahn had one for 12. I think Gates had, uh, around 87 yards, so that's what we're going to give him credit for. On the defensive side of the football, Jason Peterson, 11 solos, 5 assists. Uh, Whirl had 10 solos, 6 assists, 2 quarterback sacks. Jeffries had 9 solos, 3 assists. Hollingsworth, Hollingsworth had 8 solos, 7 assists, 2 sacks. Hahn had 
Eight solos, one assist. Tim Bryan had seven solos, two assists. Gates had six solos, three assists. Josh Gaylor, four solos, six assists. Jake Peterson, four solos, four assists. Chris Hinkhouse, three solos, two assists. Rick Butler, three solos, one assist. Trent Tysinger, two solos, two assists, two quarterback sacks. Swenson, two solos, two assists. Brian O'Neill, two, two, assist, two solos. John Jacobson, one solo, two assists. Wes Wellendorf, uh, one solo. Tim O'Neill, two assists. Matt Taylor, two assists. We had an interception. Hahn had an interception. And we had a, a fumble uh, recovered uh, by Wes Wellendorf. Tysinger blocked one uh, punt. So a uh, great night on special teams for the Bears. I think it showed up in the final score. Um, we're going to be right back here in a little bit to bring you to tonight's game. It's a beautiful night for football. Temperature in the high 40s, low 50s. Tim O'Neill set to kick off here. From the Bear 40, it's a high kick. Taken at the uh, Clear Creek Amana 16-yard line, straight up the middle. And a tremendous hit there by number 70 for the Bears. Uh, that was Rick Butler on the initial hit. He went flying backwards, but at least he got the man slowed down so the rest of the Bears can come in and clean up. Quick here. They'll start from their own 36-yard uh, line here. And straight ahead, uh, quick count and uh, maybe a yard at uh, first down carry. So it's second and seven here. Number 24, Matt Sheets, the quarterback, rolls left. Peterson fighting off the blockers to turn the play back inside, and uh, they'll get about five more. Play here, the clock wasn't working again. Uh, brand new clock, uh, got to work a few of the bugs out. Uh, third down and two here for uh, Clear Creek. Uh, handoff right up the middle, and he's going to have the first down. Good job by Clear Creek. Clear Creek, uh, Luke Flansburg uh, flanked out to the right. First and ten, Clear Creek picks up the first, first ten of this ball game. Well, we got a second here, too. We want to thank Dan McGelder. He was another guy that was in on this uh, job of uh, doing a great job of lining the field. We want to make sure we don't leave anybody out. So uh, hats off to Dan McGelder, too. Clear Creek uh, had a man move in the backfield there. Uh, first penalty of the football game, five yards, illegal procedure. So it's first and 15. Ball now at the uh, Clear Creek 45-yard line. And holy Toledo. Boy, Trent Tysinger, great tackle. Tysinger and Bryant at the tackles. Uh, Whirl and Peterson at the defensive ends. Second down, 16. Roll left. Bears get deep penetration, and it's almost intercepted by Rios. Bears set to go or, uh, on defense here. Third down and 16 after the incomplete pass. Hollingsworth and Peterson at linebacker. Back to throw, fakes the throw, hands off, delayed. Uh, draw up the middle, and boy, oh boy, number 76, Tysinger, number two, Clay Whirl, and number 15, Hollingsworth in on that tackle. Clear Creek will be forced to punt from their own, uh, we'll call it 34-yard line here with 9.54 to go. Oh, a high snap. It gets it back down. Good pressure by the Bears. It goes off the side of his foot. It's going to take a Clear Creek hop and go out of bounds at about the Bear 26-yard line. 56, Chris Tupsky leads him out of the huddle. Matt Taylor at one tackle. Tim Bryan at the other. Peterson and Tysinger at guards. Clear Creek jumps all over the place, handoff straight up the middle to uh, Jake Peterson, and he'll get about five. Gates, Peterson, Hollingsworth, and Vincent in the backfield for the Bears. Hollingsworth in motion to the left, second and six. Vincent fakes the handoff, then pitches it a little bit late to Gates. He makes a nice cut back inside, and he'll have the first down, six yards by Pat Gates. This is a big, big West Branch Bear football team here tonight. Huge backfield. First and 10, ball on the West Branch, 38. Vincent back to throw and gets blindsided on that right side. Something you don't like to see, and that's the quarterback blindsided like that. Boy, oh boy, Aaron Vincent took a wicked hit from that right side. I'm sure uh, Coach Rummels will have something to say about that in, uh, when he looks at the films. Vincent rolls left, fakes the pitch, does a nice job of cutting back inside, changes hands out to the 40. Out to about the 45, to the 50, to the 45. Great run by Aaron Vincent. Boy, Aaron Vincent's doing a better job all the time of running that little option. Great job. First and 10 bears on the uh, Clear Creek 45-yard line with 7.44 to go. First quarter, Vincent back to throw. We have a flag down. Has Hahn out there in the right flat. He takes it at the 40, and he'll go down at the 40. We'll wait and see what the flag was. Bears pick up their first penalty of the uh, football game. Illegal procedure, so now it's first and 15. The ball will be at the Clear Creek 49-yard line. Hollingsworth in motion to the right. Vincent back to throw. Looks over here, has a man wide open. That's Clay Whirl, a big tight end to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. 
to the 35, down to the 30. Great run by Clay Whirl after the catch. Up there, third first down here. A great uh, pass by Vincent. They set that play up well, and then Whirl just took off like a freight train there. Ball on the Clear Creek 28-yard line. Roll to the right. Has a man out there. This time it's Hahn. This time there's no flags. Down to the 20, to the 15. He could go. That's Adam Hahn. What a great job of uh, walking the old tightrope. Adam Hahn. And that'll be a 28-yard touchdown pass from Aaron Vincent to Adam Hahn. Number 83, Adam Hahn wants to keep it going this week. He was crowned homecoming king last uh, last night at the uh, festivities here at Alpha Street Field. Uh, O'Neill's uh, kick is up and it's good. And the Bears lead 7 0 with 6.52 to go, first quarter. Drive by the Bears was 74 yards on six plays, four on the ground and two through the air. Of course, the big play was a 28 yard touchdown pass from Aaron Vincent to Adam Hahn. 7 0 West Branch. Line drive kick by O'Neill. Takes and hits the Clear Creek player. It's going to go all the way down to the five-yard line. He picks it up, and uh, we'll wait and see who's down there early. And boy, oh boy, number uh, 58, Kevin Kaleberg uh, makes a, a real uh, slobber knocker on him about the five there. Bears have Clear Creek uh, buried deep in their own territory on their own nine here. First and ten. This will be Clear Creek's second possession. They moved the ball a little bit that first time. Uh, they're pretty conservative. Go straight ahead, maybe a yard. Total of ten yards on that first drive that they put together. Uh, they had some negative yardage in there. They had five plays, six plays on that first drive before they had to punt. Second and nine. Ball on the ten. Bears get good penetration. Quarterback rolls left and turns the corner, and uh, we have a hit out of bounds. Uh, there goes the flag. You hate to see it was an obvious late hit out of bounds. So it gives a 15 yard penalty against the Bears, their second one of this first quarter, and gives Clear Creek uh, first and 10 on the uh, Clear Creek 30. And they go long, and they have a man open down there, and it's caught all the way down at the uh, Bear 36 yard line. Penalties, there's one. Uh, Clear Creek uh, had an illegal receiver downfield, so it negates that great pass by number 24 Sheets. Rolls right. Swenson turns the play in, and there's another flag down. A 10-yard holding call on Clear Creek. Uh, Clear Creek's going in the backwards mode here at the moment. It's a uh, ball all the way back on a 16. It's first down and 20 or 36 yards. Quick pass out here in the right flat. Number three rails uh, gets one hit. Number 83 Hahn comes in, and uh, they'll have about eight yards on that pass. Clear Creek completes their first pass. It's second and 21 here. Ball on the Clear Creek 24-yard line. 4.44 to go, first quarter, 7 0 West Branch. Back to throw, goes deep, sets a screen up over here to the left side, and it's set up well to the 30, 35, 40, 45, and he's going to go all the way. Andy Swenson shows some great speed, and he's going to catch him, and he gets away, and that's going to be a big play for Clear Creek. That's going to be a 76 uh, yard touchdown pass. West Branch crowd sets here. Clear Creek goes for two, puts their head down, and they don't get it. Number uh, 49, Jake Peterson, got great penetration to stop that two-point try. So it's 7-6 West Branch here with 4.23 to go first quarter. Set to go here. Boy, I, like I say, the crowd more or less stunned. That's a 76-yard touchdown pass by Clear Creek. And boy, that young man showed some speed. But give Andy Swenson some credit, too, for running him down and almost getting him at the 10. Gates takes it at the uh, 20, 25, 30, 35. Great cut, still on his feet. Out to about the uh, West Branch 37-yard line. Take over their second possession of this football game on the West Branch 37-yard line. First and 10 Bears. They lead this thing 7-6. Hollingsworth in motion to the left. Vincent pitches it to big Jake Peterson to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, 45, 40, he could go, 30, that's a runaway locomotive, holy Toledo, Jake. We thought that was 67, it was 63 yards, 63 yard run by Peterson, spots down, kicks up, and boy, oh boy, O'Neill kicks it clear up into the bus barn. It's a 14 to 6 West Branch with 3.59 to go. We said last week when we saw the young man for the first time carrying the football that we think we have something very special here, number 49. I think now you see why. Clear Creek takes it at 25, and the ball comes out. And I think the Bears may have it, but there's also a flag comes in late. Try to find out who recovered that fumble. We see number 60 for the Bears, Chris Hinkhouse at center now. And they get the ball on the fumble at the Clear Creek 27-yard line. 
calls a timeout here uh, with 3.50 to go first quarter. Uh, as we said before, the Bears take over on the Clear Creek 27. Uh, Phil Rushton in on that fumble recovery for the Bears. So big night here for Phil Rushton. Back to throw. Has a man open. Pumps once. Goes long and uh, overthrows Gates down about the five-yard line. But uh, I think if the uh, pattern would have kept going, it might have been complete. Hinkow still at center for the Bears. Uh, Peterson at one guard. Tysinger at the other. Big Matt Taylor at left tackle and uh, number 55, Tim Bryant at that right tackle. Whirl at tight end. Back to throw, throws out here in the flat to uh, Hollingsworth this time, and he'll have it down to 20. All right, Jeremy Hollingsworth picking up that reception. It was good for eight yards. Vincent having another great night throwing the football here, three or four. Third and two. Hollingsworth in motion, and here comes uh, Big Jake Peterson, 20, 15. Down at the 11-yard line, number 21 for uh, uh, Clear Creek, Chris Demmel was the last hope. Big Jake Peterson, man, oh, man. Three carries, 87 yards. First and 10. Bears have six first downs. 3-11 to go, first quarter. 14-6 West Branch. Hollingsworth in motion. Here comes uh, Peterson behind him again, and he'll uh, maybe uh, get a yard. Second and goal from the five. Gates, Peterson, Hollingsworth, and Vincent in that backfield. Whirl it tight in. Hahn out to the left. Hollingsworth in motion to the left again. This time they go right. Gates is going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, Clear Creek doing a great job on defense here. Number three, Pat Rios comes in. And number 83, Adam Hahn comes out on third down and uh, six here. Call it maybe a long six, a short seven. Hollingsworth in motion again. Fake the handoff. Goes to the end zone. And the number 32, Pat Gates, seven-yard touchdown pass from uh, Benson. All right, that last drive by the Bears was 27 yards, six plays, three on the ground, and uh, Benson being two out of three from the air. Of course, again, uh, the big play, the seven-yard touchdown pass to Pat Gates. Number 83, Adam Hahn kicking off for the Bears, and down she goes. 25, 20, 15. Number uh, 32, Gates, and he busts it out again. And uh, number uh, 89 makes a saving tackle for the Bears. That's uh, Brian O'Neill, and uh, the Bears special team's a little shaky here tonight. Creek, a great return, great field position. Ball just short of their 50. On their side of the 50 with 1.39 to go, 21-6 West Branch. Rolls left, keeps the ball, cuts it back inside, and then goes outside for maybe two. Second down and eight. Clear Creek picks up two on that first down carry. Number 24, Sheets, doing a nice job. Ball on the bear, 48. Back to throw, under heavy pressure, lets it go, and it's way over everybody. Third down and eight. Uh, Sheets doing a good job throwing the ball for uh, Clear Creek, but the bear defense doing a good job of putting pressure on him. Back to throw again. Whirls in there, and it's uh, complete, and uh, he'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Number one, Anthony Herring bringing the play in for Clear Creek, and uh, you really would expect him to go here. Uh, we have a uh, end of the first quarter. So Bears uh, lead this thing 21-6 at the end of the first quarter. Uh, Clear Creek kind of got a break there. The end of the quarter gave him time to go over to the sideline and huddle up, and uh, trailing 21-6, and I want to tell you what, as soon as he gets up here, number 15, Hollingsworth, I think almost beat the ball into the quarterback's hands there. So uh, the quarterback got something he didn't expect, and that'd be a number 15. Bears do a great job on defense. They take over at their own 41-yard line here. This will be the first series for them in the second quarter. Great play by Jeremy Hollingsworth there. This time, Clear Creek blitzes at number 60. Chris Hinkhouse puts the guy right in his back. Complete the world, a big tight end. Boy, big play world having a nice night here tonight. 34 yards on two catches. Ball at the uh, Clear Creek 47-yard line. Hand off over the right side, and boy, oh boy, Clear Creek got penetration, and uh, Jake Peterson's going to go down. He well, he never does go down, but he gets stopped a yard shy. Three possessions, a 28-yard pass from Vincent to Hahn, a 63-yard Jake Peterson run, and a 7-yard pass from Vincent to Gates. Hand off over the right side, and we have a flag. Coach Larry Rummel sends a play in, one of the best offensive coordinators in the state of Iowa. Just does a great job year in and year out. Second down, 15 after the illegal procedure penalty against the Bears. Ball on the Bear, 48. Vincent back to throw, under pressure. Completes it to Peterson, 45, 50. 
45. Oh, takes a hit at about the 43-yard uh, line. Vincent just having a great first half throwing the football. He's six of seven. Third down, about seven. Back to throw, a little shovel pass inside to Hollingsworth, to the 40, to the 35, and there's your first down. And uh, give Vincent another completed pass for about nine yards. Hollingsworth, uh, 10 yard reception. Five different people have caught passes here for the Bears. First and 10 on the Clark Creek 35. Inside to Hollingsworth for the 30, to the 25, and he'll have close to 10 more. Hollingsworth gets 10 and another first down. That's nine for the Bears. Ball on the uh, Clear Creek 25. Vincent back to throw. Looks downfield, has a man open. That's uh, Rios at the 12. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think. Okay. Okay, Rios gets his first catch of the evening. Good for uh, 13 yards and a first down. Ball at the uh, Clear Creek 12, handoff to, a uh, fake handoff to Peterson. Pitch late to Gates on a nice hole. Gets a block out there on the corner from Hollingsworth and he'll score. That'll be a 12 yard touchdown run for Pat Gates. That last drive by the Bears was seven plays, three on the ground. Vincent was four for four through the air. Uh, a total drive of uh, around 59 yards. Extra point good. The Bears lead this thing 28 to 6 with 8.26 to go second quarter. Well, we got a second here. We're going to try and get a few of the kickoff team, uh, special team guys for you. Some guys that don't get their name mentioned. Number 28, uh, a sophomore in there uh, tonight, uh, Nate Nash. Number 89, Brian O'Neill. Number 58, Kevin Kaleberg. Number 67, uh, Phil Rushton. Number 34, Josh Gaylor. O'Neill's kick taken at the 20. Holy Toledo Nash put somebody back about five yards at the 30, and uh, down he goes at the Clerk Creek 30 yard line. Number, number 70, Rick Butler, and number six, Mike Peterson, also on that special kickoff team. Handoff over left side, big hole out to the uh, 40 yard line. It'll be gain of about nine. Second down and one. We see a number 59 over the nose for the Bears, and, and uh, we're not sure, but number 59 and fresh off is Ben Fennel, so we're hoping maybe that young man's in there getting a shot at this thing. To the 40 to the 43, to the 44, 45, so it's gonna be good for a first down and about six yards. 34, Josh Gaylor in there now at the nose tackle for the Bears, so uh, a lot of guys getting a lot of playing time here tonight. 28 to six, West Branch with 7.14 to go. First and 10, Clear Creek on the uh, Clear Creek 45 yard line, and uh, he's downed after about a yard gain by uh, Jake Peterson. Hills, Hahn, and Gates in the defensive backfield for the Bears. Hollingsworth and Peterson at linebacker. Worrell and uh, Peterson at uh, defensive ends. Second and nine for Clear Creek. Rolls right. Pitches late. Cuts it back inside, and he'll have about four yards. Third and five here for Clear Creek. Ball just short of the 50-yard line. Back to throw, looks right, gets it out there, and it's incomplete. Good play by Rios. Number three, Pat Rios and 83, Adam Hahn, back at the Bear 20. Third Creek will punt, a high snap again. They'll punt from their own 40, and it's a terrible kick. Terrible kick. I'll be lucky if that thing goes. Uh... Coach is doing their best to try to get that program turned around out there, and I know these are some of the things that really you know, really, really hurt in a football game like this is you get a four-yard punt. The Bears got great field position getting out their own 46 with 5.39 to go in the second quarter. Hollingsworth in motion to the right. Vincent back to throw. Back to throw. Rolls right. Looks. Looks. Has a man coming across and almost a great catch by Hollingsworth. Okay, uh, we've got Vincent having a great uh, first half. We've got him 8 of 10 for 110 yards at this point. Second down and 10 after the incomplete pass. Fakes a handoff. We have a flag down. Gates gets it, and he could go to the 40. Makes a nice cut down to the 35, down to the 34. But we have a flag back uh, in the 40 around the holding area. Bears get an illegal procedure penalty, which brings up a second and 15. That'll be their fourth penalty of the first half. They've got 30 yards on four penalties. Hollingsworth in motion, and we got flags. Another illegal procedure penalty, so it's second and 20 now. The Bears having a little tough time. They've had a trouble this year with penalties. Hollingsworth in motion, back to throw, looks downfield, has time, two gates at the 50, at the 45, and it could be good night, Irene, on this one. 
He's gone. And that's going to be a 64 yard touchdown pass from Aaron Vincent to Pat Gates. Boy, Pat Gates having a great all around night. He's had three carries for 17 yards and uh, two receptions for 71. And O'Neill's point is up and good, and it's 34 to 6 with 5.11 to go first, uh, first half. Swenson, Peterson, 33, John Jacobson, number 11, Aaron Carr, number 70, sophomore Nate Nash, number 28, all the way down to the 17-yard uh, line, straight up the uh, field, and number 33, Jacobson, and number 28, that sophomore Nash in there on that tackle. And you can... Number six, Mike Peterson also in on that tackle on the kickoff. Gaylor over the nose now. Bryant and Tysinger tackle. They go right. And he has some running room and uh, a good one-on-one -on -one tackle by number 15, Hollingsworth. On the ground, they've got three first downs. And uh, they've got 90 yards through the air. So they have been able to move the ball a little bit here tonight, even though the score may not indicate it, and they're forced to call another timeout here. Great crowd here tonight. Uh, boy, there's going to be a great halftime show. The uh, band will be 153 members strong tonight. Oh, great tackle in there for no gain. Uh, number 34, Gaylor in there. Number uh, 76, uh, uh, Tysinger. And uh, number 55, Bryant. Those two big tackles making their presence known. Clear Creek got a great seven yards on first down. Got absolutely Zippo there on second. So it brings up a third and four. Bears been forcing him into long and third. And boy, oh boy, quarterback lets the uh, pass go. And uh, the Clippers get a, uh, a first and 10 after a pass interference call. We didn't get to see it here. Uh, but anyway, uh, they have the ball now down at the uh, Bear 45 yard line. Second and eight. Two forty-eight to go. Thirty-five to six. West Branch. First half. Throws it uh, quickly, and it's intercepted by Rios this time. Down to the forty-five to the forty, and uh, he takes a hit at about the thirty-seven yard line, and down he goes. Bears take over after the uh, Pat Rios interception. This will be their sixth series of the first half. Thirty-five to six. Two thirty-eight to go, and don't be surprised if they reach the end zone before half. Back to throw. Looks downfield, goes long, has Hollingsworth out there, and it's overthrown just a little bit. Second and ten here. Aaron Vincent, we've said all along also that this young man has been a highly underrated passer. This kid can throw the football. Second and ten, ball on the Clear Creek 38-yard line, and uh, we're going to have a legal procedure again on the Bears. Bears getting a legal procedure penalty. Boy, oh boy, they've got 55 yards in penalties this first half. Uh, second down and 15 with 2.31 to go, first half. Gates out wide to the right, cuts it right. There's the pass, there's the catch to the 35, to the 30, the 25, cuts it into the 20. Great footwork by Pat Gates. <laughs> Mr. Vincent throwing, uh, throwing everything tonight and Mr. Gates showing some great hands. That would be number 32 in your program. Fakes the handoff, fakes the pitch, then makes the cut and drops the ball, and I think Aaron gets it back at about the 12-yard line. Second and five, Aaron gets his own fumble back there. Ball just about the 14-yard line with 1.40 to go, first half. Rolls right, looks to the end zone, has a wide open field ahead, down to the 10, down to the five, takes a hit, and he'll be in to score. And that's going to be a 14-yard uh, touchdown run by Aaron Benson. By the Bears was 37 yards on four plays. Two on the ground, and Vincent was one of two through the air, and he capped it off. They go for two, and he's going to take it at the five, and we'll wait and see how they mark it. Good. There's uh, some new players in here. We're going to try and get their names if we can. We'd also like to say that we really don't believe that two-point conversion was planned. It was a high snap, and they basically had to try to get in there. Number 69 in there now on the kickoff team. Uh, that's another uh, uh, young man from the, that's a freshman, Jared Babcock. So uh, we've got all sorts of people seeing action. Kicks away down to the 30, 25, taking it to Clear Creek, 20. Straight up field, and uh, number 34, Josh Gaylor on a one-on-one. -on -one. First and 10 from the 28. This will be Clear Creek's 
sixth possession of the first half. 1.22 to go. Handoff over the left side and uh, number 34, uh, Josh Gaylor. And uh, we'll wait to see when the young man gets up who the other person was. I believe it was number 15, uh, no, excuse me, it was number 76, Trent Tyson. Second down and nine. Ball on the Clear Creek 30 with 42 seconds to go first half. Hand off over the right side and he'll get a couple more. Number 28, a sophomore, Nate Nash in there at uh, linebacker now for the Bears along with, uh, uh, they've got uh, Hahn tucked up in there pretty tight. Third and uh, eight with uh, two seconds to go in the half and he's hit and down he goes at the uh, 25 yard line. Uh, number 34, Gaylor, and uh, we have a bear kind of hopping around. We hope he's not hurt. So that'll be the end of the first half with the Bears leading here at Alpha Street Field, 43 to 6. All right, here come the Bears down on the field. And before we start this second half, we'll try to get a few of the first half stats in. As we always say, they're unofficial, of course. We try to keep as good a stats as we can. But. Uh, Boy, oh boy, we've got a lot of stats to give you, too. There's been some uh, huge numbers put up this first half. Start off with the uh, penalties, of course. Clear Creek had three penalties for 20 yards. The Bears had seven penalties for 55 yards. Uh, that has to be the only bad side to this uh, first half for the Bears. The Bears had 14 first downs. Clear Creek had four. Uh, the Bears had 13 rushes for 148 yards. Vincent had a great, great first half throw, and he was 10 of 13 for 195 yards. Uh, on the Clear Creek side of the ball, they had 18 rushes for 49 yards, and they were 3 of 6 in the passing department for 90 yards. Individual stats, uh, Hollingsworth had one carry for 10 yards, Gates three carries for 17, Jake Peterson five for 87, and Vincent uh, four for 34. Uh, in the receiving department, Whirl had two catches for 34. Hahn had uh, one catch for 28. Hollingsworth had one catch for 18. Gates had uh, three catches for 92 yards. Pat Gates uh, having a great first half. And uh, Jake Peterson had one catch for 10. And Pat Reels had one for 13. Um, the Bears uh, scored on every one of their first half possessions, all six of them. Hahn had a, uh, scored the first touchdown, a 28-yard pass from Vincent. Uh, Jake Peterson uh, ran 63 yards for the second touchdown. Pat Gates had a seven-yard uh, touchdown reception from Vincent for the third one. Gates had a 12-yard run for the fourth touchdown. Gates had a 64-yard pass reception for the third, or for the uh, for his uh, third touchdown of that first half and Vincent ran the final touchdown in from 14 yards out. So the Bears put together an impressive first half. Uh, Clear Creek did score one time, and that being on a 76-yard touchdown pass uh, on a well-executed screen play that uh, caught the Bears off guard. So we'll be back in just a second to bring you this uh, second half with the Bears leading 43-6. to six. Clear Creek will uh, kick off to start this second half. They're trailing this thing 43-6, to six, but uh, they made it a halftime. That had to be one of their goals. The ball hits at the uh, bear uh, 25, then taken up at the uh, 20 by number 83, Adam Hahn. And this young man can go down to the 30, 35, cuts it back inside to the 40, takes a wicked hit at the 42-yard line. Bears take over with a great field position to start this second half on the fine return by Adam Hahn. Bears will be on their own 42-yard line. First play from scrimmage to start the second half. Quick pitch to the right to Pat Gates, who's having a big night to the 45, to the 50, to the 45. And uh, Gates is going to have, uh, we'll give him about 15 yards on that play. <laughs> Number six, Mike Peterson in that backfield for the Bears now. Nice to see that young man getting in there, getting a little play in time. Fakes the handoff. Runs for his life. As a man out there, that's almost a circus catch by Pat Reels. Reels would have caught that ball. It would have been on the highlight film, I can guarantee you. Almost a one-handed circus catch. But anyway, it's second down, 10 to go here. Peterson, Mike Peterson still in that backfield for the Bears, along with Gates. Back to throw, pumps once, then goes long. Has a man out there and uh, falls down at about the 20. I think it was intended for Hahn. Reels flanked out wide to the left. 
Worrell still at tight end. Peterson and Gates in the backfield along with Vincent. Hollingsworth in motion to the left. A little delayed handoff to Gates, and he goes right up the middle to the 35. Great sense of balance on this young man. Down to the 30, and he'll, uh, he'll have about uh, 13. Bears pick up another first down. That's uh, 16 to this point in the game. Down on the 30-yard line. Boy, Pat Gates having himself quite a night here. Oliphant Street Field. He scored three touchdowns already. Hollingsworth in motion. Vincent steps up in the pocket and takes off himself to the 25, to the 20, and he'll have about 10. But we have a huge amount of new players here. We'll try to get them. Mike Peterson, number six at quarterback. Uh, number 58, Kevin Kaleberg at center. Number 33, John Jacobs in the backfield, along with number 19, Andy Swenson. He'll fall in it, on it at about the 25-yard uh, line. Tim O'Neill in now, and number 59, Ben Fennell out. Number 89, Brian O'Neill in there. Number 34, Gaylor in there. And a straight ahead for no gain. Number 70 for the Bears, uh, Rick Butler in there. Number uh, 59 in that offensive line for the Bears, Ben Fennell. Hand off inside to uh, Swenson, and he decides to duck it outside and uh, gets caught at about the 35 for about a yard gain. And now on the left side, 67. Number 67, Phil rushing in that offensive line for the Bears on that left side, along with uh, number 70, Rick Butler. Tim O'Neill on that right side, along with uh, number 60, Chris Inkhouse. And uh, the ball, uh, he's going to be down for about a uh, four-yard loss. All right, Clear Creek takes over for their first possession of the second half on their own 29-yard line. Handoff over the right side, and number 76 for the Bears, Trent Tysinger in on that tackle. Bears doing a great job here, getting a lot of young men playing time. They have a rule in practice that if you practice hard, everybody will play in the game, and uh, it's just a wonderful situation here. Second down and uh, seven. Over the right side, Tysinger hits the quarterback, then Hahn comes off his blocker and uh, slows the man down, and... Uh, Number uh, 54, Jason Peterson, comes in and cleans up. Number 28, Nate Nash getting on the field a little late there. Rails and Hahn back at the Bear 35. Clear Creek will be punting from their own 25. This time it's a good kick. He angles it out of bounds, and it's going to go out. Uh, a good kick by Clear Creek. It'll go out at the Bear 35-yard line. Number 11 for the Bears, uh, Aaron Carr flanked out wide left. Number 34, Gaylor comes on a little late. O'Neill at tight end. Ball on the uh, bare 35-yard line. Gaylor in motion to the left. Hands off to Jacobson, and he'll have a couple. Number 50, Tim O'Neill back in with the play, and another young man from the Fresh Soft team, a, uh, a sophomore, Jamie Schur, number 25 in the lineup for the Bears. Second and eight. Schur in motion to the left. Hand off. Uh, whoop, the ball's pitched, and uh, John Jacobson's going to fall on it at about the 24-yard uh, line. Number 14, Luke Murphy in for the Bears now at... Uh, on the right side there. Third down and uh, 21 after the errant uh, pitch here. Hand off to Swenson inside to the 25, and he's going to be tackled at about the 26-yard line. Tim O'Neill to punt from the Bear. 15-yard line, and we have a whistle. They try it again. This time, O'Neill gets a beautiful punt. Taken at the 50-yard line, and it'll be downed right there by number 21 for Clear Creek, Chris Stemmel. Uh, taken right at the 50, and i tell you what, Trent Tysinger, I don't know what his secret is, but he was in there again and tripped the guy up, and Hollingsworth makes the tackle. Nine here, ball on the bare 49. 310 to go, third quarter, 43-6 West Branch. Here comes the rush. Nice screen pass set up again. Brian in pursuit, and he goes down that right side, cuts it back, 
and he'll be down at about the 30-yard line. And uh, number 32, Gates, was in on the tackle, and uh, number uh, 55, that big lineman, Tim Bryant, come flying back to help make the tackle, too, at the 30. Like I said before, Tim Bryant, a defensive tackle, came 20 yards downfield and helped make that tackle. First and 10, handoff right over the middle, and that goes uh, Zelcho. Bear Creek calls a timeout with 1.56 to go in his third quarter on a second and 10 play here. Back to throw. Throws over that right side, puts her up for grabs, and it's caught at the five, and it's going to be a touchdown, uh, Clear Creek. Clear Creek stikes again. A 30-yard touchdown pass from uh, 30, or, uh, 24 uh, sheets of 21 stemmo. They go for two. Roll right, has a man coming across, and that ball's uh, almost intercepted by Adam Hahn. Brandon Mead set to kick off for Clear Creek. 43 to 12 West Branch with 148 to go in this third quarter. That last drive by uh, Clear Creek was 50 yards on four plays. And the ball goes out of bounds. Bears set to go here on their own 46 yard line. Pitch to the right side to Gates. Down to the 45, to the 40, tackled from behind at about the 38-yard line. Pat Gates just having a great night. That's six rushes for 60 yards. Another first and 10 for the Bears, so the ball's on the Clear Creek 38-yard line. Vincent, the quarterback, goes to throw, then slips. Has a man coming wide open, and that's Gates at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Pat Gates, and that's going to be holy Toledo. A 39-yard touchdown pass from Aaron Vincent. All right, that drive by the Bears, two plays, 54 yards, and they score, and uh, we have a score of 50 to 12 with 112 to go in this third quarter. Having a great night. That was his fourth touchdown. He's got four receptions for 131 yards and six carries on the ground for 60. So he's got all-purpose yards of 191 yards in this football game. Just having a great, great night. Taking at the 15, 20, 25. Number 67 for the Bears says, hello, that is Phil Rushton. Clear Creek on their own 27-yard line here. This will be their third series of the second half. 105 to go. There comes Tysinger, uh, like we said before. He breaks out in the open, but he gets five yards. And uh, who else but number 32, Pat Gates. Second down, and uh, we'll call it uh, four with 29 seconds to go, third quarter. Ball on the Clear Creek 32 yard line. Hand off over the left side, and he should have handed it off because number two, Clay Whirl, met him here for Clear Creek. This will be the first play of the fourth quarter. Bears lead this thing 50 to 12. Back to throw, sprints backwards, and they're going to set that screen play up. And it's almost intercepted. Jason Peterson and Trent Tysinger were fighting for the ball. Otherwise, we may have had an interception there. Clear Creek will be punting from their own 20-yard line. And oh, my goodness, it goes over his head all the way back to the 10. And he's down at the 10-yard line. Humble snap. Uh, we have a whole bunch of new faces. And again, it's first and goal from the five-yard line. I'm sure Coach Peterson would like to see these young players push this ball in for a touchdown. Uh, pitch to the left side to Andy Swenson. He's hit at the five, down to the four, down to the three. 77, Steve Grace comes out in number 25. Jamie Sure goes in. Swenson and uh, Jacobson in that backfield along with Peterson. And it's straight ahead, and we're going to have an illegal procedure, I believe, against the Bears. Well, we've got young players, and we have young player mistakes here. An illegal procedure penalty pushes it back now to the eight-yard line. So it's a second and eight, or a second and goal, whichever you prefer. Peterson rolls right, uh, wants to throw it, has a man out there, and we're going to have a holding call against the Bears. Number 77, Grace back in for the Bears, along with number 14, Luke Murphy. Number 19, Swenson out here to the left. Aaron Carr, number 11, out to the right. Lone set in the backfield. Peterson back to throw, and we have another penalty. Number 14, Luke Murphy back in, along with number 25, Jamie Schur. Car flanked out wide to the left. Peterson at quarterback. Kaleberg at center. It's second down and 27 now. And uh, they go over the middle, complete to Carr. And it's a 
I don't believe it. 27-yard touchdown pass. Kick is up, and it's no good, and that's a rarity for Mr. O'Neill. O'Neill set to kick for the Bears, 56 to 12 here at Oliphant Street Field. A great night for a football game. Taken by uh, number 21 Stemmel to 20, 25 to the 30, and number 33 John Jacobson in on that tackle. This will be Clear Creek's 10th possession of this football game. Number 67 in on defense for the Bears. That's Phil Russian at one defensive end. A little mix up in coverage there. The Bears. Uh, Roll to the right, number two, Whirl in pursuit, and uh, number 19, uh, Swenson makes a wise decision there and lets the runner go once he gets out of bounds. Eight yards on the ground the second half. They've got uh, 50 through the air, but only eight yards on the ground. Number 19, Swenson comes up, turns the play in, and whoa, there comes somebody in, number 32, Pat Gates. Third and five here for Clear Creek. 9.48 to go, 56 to 12, West Branch. Ball on the Clear Creek 40-yard line. Little reverse, and it's a good play. And here comes number one down the sidelines, and number three, Pat Rios, makes a great, does a great job, comes all the way across the field and gets him. Bunch of new faces in here for the Bears. Number 89, Brian O'Neill now in at one defensive end for the Bears. First and 10, Clear Creek on the Bear 45-yard line. Man in motion left. This time they run left. Number 28, Nate Nash in there to make the initial hit. And number two, Clay Whirl comes in. Nate Nash, a young man that's getting his first varsity action here in on that, uh, made the initial hit. He's in at linebacker. This time they run a man in motion again, second and 10. Turn that left corner and guess who makes the tackle? Number 28, Nate Nash. Third and 10 here for Clear Creek with 8.14 to go in his football game. Ball on the bare 45 yard line, man in motion. This time they uh, try the naked reverse, and uh, there's a nice play. Uh, give Jason Peterson some credit for taking the interference out, and uh, number 32, Pat Gates, come out. Clear Creek's going to go for it here on 4th and 12, so the Bears were in, uh, ready for the punt. Here they come, back to throw. They're going to set that screen up again. They've got it set up over on the 45 to the 40, and it's, I believe he's going to be short of the first down. Well, here's your fresh soft offense, ladies and gentlemen. We'll try to get the numbers for you as quick as we can. Number nine is the quarterback, Matt O'Neill. It's at the uh, West Branch 35. Rolls left, and he's going to be tackled back at the 30-yard uh, line. Number 57, Mike Coleman at center. Number 59, Ben Fenlett, one guard. Number 75, Larry Kuzman at the other guard. Number 25, Jamie Shure in there. Number uh, 44, uh, Brant Gates in there. Number 22, Corey Kessel in there. Number 69, Jared Babcock. Second down and 20. Hand off over the right side uh, to Gates and he'll get uh, about three. Number uh, 66, Jeremiah Sabrin in there for the Bears. Coleman still at center. Number 28, Nash. Number 44, Gates in the backfield. Number 9, O'Neill, still a quarterback. Number 14 for the Bears, Luke Murphy in motion. This time, the, uh, Gates takes it to the right side, and he'll be out to about the 25-yard uh, line. Where the Fourth down and 20 for the Bears. O'Neill will be punting from about his own 13-yard line. Good snap. Good punt. Fair catch signaled at the... Clear Creek 43-yard line. Takes over after the punt on their own 43-yard line. This will be their fifth possession of the second half. 56 to 12, West Branch with 4.40 to go. Hand off over to the left side and holy Toledo. Number 59, Ben Fennell comes in there. Uh, reserved hand and number 72, Big Matt Taylor in there now on defense. Second and 11. Back to throw, under pressure, and here comes Clay Whirl. John Jacobson in on defense, 59, Ben Fennell, 58, Kevin Kaleberg, 19, Swenson, Gates, Nash, handoff over the middle, and the number 20 uh, goes back inside, number 32, Gates, along with 83, Hahn in on the tackle, and he'll get about eight. 
Fourth and 12 here for Clear Creek. With 2.41 to go, they'll be punting from their own 30-yard line, and we have a official's timeout. Now we're ready to go on fourth and 12. Number three, Pat Rios is a lone man back. Low snap, but he gets it away. He kicks it off the right side here. It's going to hit, almost hits a Clear Creek player there. And it's going to roll dead at the West Branch 26-yard line. Take over here. Once again, we've got the fresh soft unit. Well, we got a second. We're we'll trying to get a few of the uh, individual stats in for you here. Uh, we have some illegal procedure. And uh, while well, we have a second, uh, Barry seemed to be having a little trouble with the legal procedure. But anyway, uh, in uh, carrying the football, Hollingsworth, one carry, 10 yards. Gates, six carries, 60 yards. Jake Peterson, five carries for 87. Aaron Vincent, five carries for 44. Swenson, four carries for two. Jacobson, three carries for a minus 10. Peterson, one carry for minus four. Uh, the quarterback, O'Neill, one carry for minus six yards. On the receiving end of things, Whirl, two catches for 34. Hahn, one for 28. Hollingsworth, two for 18. Gates having a, a banner night here. Uh, number 44, his brother, in motion. This time they pitch late to uh, number 28, uh, Mr. Uh, Nate Nash, and he gets to about the 20. We got Gates with 131 yards receiving. We've got another penalty. Jake Peterson has one catch for 10 yards. Uh, Pat Reels, one catch for 13. And Aaron Carr, one catch for 27 yards. Big night here for the Bears. Hand off over the left side to uh, Nash again. And uh, he's going to be out to about the 21-yard line. Third down here and uh, 15 with 50 seconds to go. A little uh, late handoff to Gates and we've got a flag down. Clear Creek denies that penalty and brings up a fourth and 15. The Bears appear that they're going to go for it with uh, 17 seconds left to go on the clock and then we have a quick kick, something we haven't seen this year. A uh, great kick by Pat Gates all the way out to the uh, Clear Creek Amana 38-yard line with uh, seven ticks of the clock left. Clear Creek set to go here on their own 38 with seven seconds left. About time for one play. Little delayed draw. Hit at the line of scrimmage and down he goes. And that should be the last play of this football game. And it is. And the Bears are going to win this thing 56-12 to 12 here at Oliphant Street Field. Um, a lot of yardage racked up tonight, but uh, any way you look at it, it's a uh, W for the Bears, a big win. They'll go to 6-0 on the season, and they'll go to 4-0 in uh, District uh, District 6 Class 2A. And we want to, as we always do, thank all the fans for coming tonight. There was a huge turnout here for homecoming. Uh, encourage everyone to please come out and uh, support us next week as we go down to Highland Lone Tree to play football. We'd like to remind everybody that that game will be played at Highland, not Lone Tree. So please follow us on the road. We need all your support, and let's keep